Today I am going to discuss about the web technology and its applications. Under uh, module 1, we will going to study the introduction to HTML. What, uh, what is HTML and uh, where did it come from? Then uh, HTML syntax, semantic markup language, then the structure of HTML documents, and finally, a quick tour about the HTML elements. So, let us start with the introduction. So as you know about uh, uh, the HTML, HTML is a hypertext markup language where it is started from uh, ARPANET in the late uh, 1960. So it is started in uh, yeah, America where uh, it is a US in the, in the defense. So the first paper it is being published by the uh, Tim Berners-Lee in 1991. So then or not, sir, uh, refining is going on in that particular HTML. Basically, this was used for the applications where uh, just a documentation should be there. That's it. It is a static web pages. Only the data are going to be present, and just you can able to read that information. For that purpose, this was used. And uh, this has been uh, confirmed by the uh, Worldwide Consortium because uh, basically to make any applications and all these things the people are going to use this particular HTML so everybody should use a similar type of uh, data or we can say that uh, some tags that must be used so that uh, the WWW that is W3C consortium has uh, approved this particular uh, tags for the HTML 1997 so what we can say is about the HTML is a markup language. The reason for this markup language is just to know how this uh, it can be beautified. That's it. The document can be beautified. Now you can see about uh, in this particular thing uh, some of the data are there like this. This is a document it is. So main heading is going to be there here. Then uh, second heading. Okay. Then second uh, uh, heading again in that okay, margins are there. And this again bulleted notifications are there here so properly that should be uh, written on the screen so by seeing that you can able to understand that uh, okay it's a good uh, way of representation like that so for that purpose uh, HTML was being used HTML is nothing but that's what uh, it is saying what you see is what you get that is WYSI WYZ what you see is what you get so this is what uh, a static information it is going to be whatever the way that you write that is going to be reflected in the uh, screen so it is not having any standard uh, way of uh, uh, scrutiny in that and uh, it is going to give you some errors and all these things nothing is there whatever that you will be going to even if it is wrong it is going to accept so that is what the uh, drawback of this uh, html so WP is some standards they have maintained later on. Okay, then it is going to, it is called as X HTML. That is the Buddha extended hypertext markup language. Some strict rules have been made. So next version of that is XML, okay. extended markup language. So here um, it is having some particular rules. You should have um, lowercase tag names only and attributes always within the codes double quotes it is going to be and all elements must have a closing element means whenever the start tag is going to be there end tag must be there for this without that it is going to raise the error message some validators are there for uh, um, html x html you can say so uh, some validators are going to be present uh, for that purpose uh, uh, x html 2 it is came into the picture then uh, WHAT WC is nothing but Web Hypertext Application Technology and Working Group. What is that? W Web Hypertext Application Technology Working Group. So, uh, in the mid 2000, that it is came into the picture and uh, it is started uh, uh, proper uh, uh, validations and all these things. So, that what happens basically is uh, it is going to uh, have the more weightage than the just HTML. Now that uh, 
what WZ that is a web hypertext application technology working group is modified later and they are called as HTML5 they called as HTML5 in 2009 it is okay this is what he is saying in 2009 W3 stopped XHTML2 and they have working on this web hypertext application technology working group named it as HTML5 understood so there is no uh, another group it is going to be HTML5 is the, the same group which it was present okay so they differently it has been named the three main aims of this uh, HTML5 are it is specifying unambiguously I mean, the browser should uh, deal with the invalid markup so even though invalid markup language are going there so you should consider that and you should give the error messages then provide an open uh, non proprietary programming framework you can use uh, javascript for creating the web applications then backwards application compatibility for the existing web system that is also going to be present in this means uh, html5 if you are going to use the html4 3 2 whatever that it is that those things are going to be get applicable in html5 also that is the backward compatibility that exists in this particular web technology that is html5 also now who are all using in the browser you going to support this html5 now you see uh, no html5 supporting just it is a 5 to 10 percent people are there then partially that is getting supported in html5 you can have 75 percent nowadays everybody is using html5 browsers elements and attributes of uh, language okay so it's nothing but uh, how to write any programming languages it's going to contain the, the attributes as well as elements so any element for example here name is there name is an attribute okay then HTML names is any element and the value of that is going to be present for that okay? element it contains that it is a text other elements will be empty so in the con which contains element contains text other elements as well as it may be empty also and where the document tag it is going to be html document tag so quotes will be there so that quotes could be represented in the form of uh, double quotes the attribute should be written values should be written double quotes that's what uh, the uh, language okay? now html syntax is there now this is html syntax this is there in previous uh, versions also same thing is existing in html5 also to insert an uh, image so you are going to have image tag so whenever we call it as a tag so it contains this uh, less than symbol then name of the tag then closing symbol okay. uh, uh, greater than symbol so this we will be going to call it as a tag and this is a start tag end tag will be done with the same thing but uh, after this first uh, less than symbol next there is a slash will be there backslash will be there then ing is going to be written for all these things that is going to be same there is no change in that okay so there is an image tag is there anchor tag is there so the anchor tag is nothing but a, it is a uh, which it creates a hyperlinks then creates uh, list with the uh, okay this is a evil ol and li as a unordered list ordered list and list element list element it is going to be okay so list index you can say index means individual elements are going to be present in that then uh, there's a heading is there so h1 to h6 okay so always it is going to start with h1 and it's uh, and ends with the h1 h2 starts h2 ends h3 starts h3 ends like that maximum you can have h6 tags h1 is going to be the big tag means the font will be big h6 it is reduced one okay then uh, metadata is there metadata is nothing but a meta tag is nothing but a data on data data on data for example image is there for that image so many properties are going there so data on that period data that it is going to be called as metadata 